Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing how I created this piece, which is Victoria Street in Edinburgh. Um, I tried a different style to what I usually do, and I'm actually kind of happy with it. So I was browsing Unsplash the other day, which is a website for like free to use pictures. And I was looking at pictures of Edinburgh because I love all the like brickwork and stonework. And I happened upon this picture of Victoria Street. And I thought this looks really cool and really vibrant. And this could be a good opportunity for me to practice my architecture style and kind of try something different. So in the beginning here, I just went straight in with ink. Um, I'm using the Tombow, I don't know how to pronounce this, it's the brush tip marker. It's waterproof if you let it dry long enough and I'm really happy with it. It's It has a really firm tip so you can really control what kind of line weight you use. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't do a lot of sketching with this one. I kind of marked some of the general proportions of the, the street and the buildings, but I didn't go into any sort of detail. So that is also something that I don't normally do. Um, I like to kind of be prepared for when I paint, so I tend to sketch a lot. But um, yeah, I didn't do that with this one. So yeah, moving into the watercolor, the first thing I did was just do a generous wash of orange. Now the original piece, as you can see, is kind of at sunset and it's got this reddish orange hue on it. So I thought I would, you know, create a wash to make the piece a little bit more cohesive and make the colors look a little bit better together. Now, I actually lightened the wash that I did a little bit too much, I think. The finished piece kind of doesn't, it kind of doesn't look orange enough to me. Um, but again, you know, I'm, I'm still learning. This is still a new kind of style for me and a new sort of process. Um, so, you know, I'm not too worried about that. So then I just started filling in the rest of the buildings and all of the details and I'm gonna let you enjoy a time lapse of that.
so here is the finished piece and overall I'm really happy with it like I said this is not a style that I usually you know do <laughs> um, I like I like how it turned out I really do now there's a couple of details that maybe aren't my favorite like there's some stuff that I can still work on uh, specifically the like I guess the second or third uh, red brick building at the top of, of the street um, it looks a little bit blurry because I did go over it with another like glaze or wash oh, like on top of the details that I've already painted so that kind of blurred everything together a little bit but again like I'm still learning this is practice so I'm not too bothered and then the only other thing I didn't really do is the cobblestone, I guess, texture on the street or the road. I kind of got scared a little bit because I did do some of the, like, brick slash stone outlines on the sidewalk there, but I, yeah, <laughs> I couldn't bring myself to do the same thing for the road because I kind of didn't want to ruin the piece. Um, but I think it still looks good regardless. Um, I got to do a little bit of that reddish orange reflection at the bottom there. So yeah, all in all, I'm pretty happy with this piece. It's a good piece of practice, I guess. And yeah, I would love to do some more of this style in the future. So yeah. So let me know if you guys have any suggestions on how I can improve this sort of style, if you liked it, and all that jazz, and I'll see you in my next video.